Weavent Pro for the Mac, getting started with basic editing. This video is going to demonstrate the edit tool icons that you see on the right. To start, we open the help menu and pick icons and pick edit tools. Then scoot that over here to the right so that we can see our edit tools as we are editing. To start, pick to the selection tool and then mouse down and drag to make a selection in I'm doing this in the threading over here and we can see the copy icon and it says copy selection to clipboard so we'll press that and then we can move over say to the treadling I'll just scoot down here a bit and the, so the paste will go in before the selection. And I notice the paste is I now enabled, and I select it, and you see the newly selected um, pasted threads now in the treadling. I also want to show you that you can paste between patterns. So I pick a new pattern, and I'm going to go to the selection, I pick make my selection and then I can pick the paste icon and paste into the new pattern. Let me just go back to the other one. Go over here. And the last thing to show you for cut, paste, and copy is the fact that you have unlimited undo. So I can pick undo here and it went away and the you can do that and, until you get right back to the beginning. Now we will look at some more of the editing tools. I'll scroll this help window up a little so that you see these tools. The first one is color. So to pick a new color for the treadling, I use the right mouse button. And then I'm going to pick select, and I'm going to select a section of colors, of picks. And then I will pick the apply color tool. And it changed the color of my selection. I'm going to show you the flip. Well, I want to keep that one there. The flip, the flip vertical, and the wrap. I can do all of those. These are these tools here. This wraps, this flips horizontally, this flips vertically. We'll try the horizontal flip first. And we flipped it around. We'll try a vertical flip, and it flips the things around. You'll notice that the drawdown changes each time you flip. And you can continue to wrap. And I'm going to flip again here, and um, let's wrap some more. So I'm going to put it there. Next I'm going to, I've got five picks selected. So I pick Insert, that's this icon here. It inserts, and it will pick, insert an entire row um, and it will insert as many as you have. So if I pick insert, then I had five selected, it put in five cells. So I can go over to mark mode and I can mark these cells however I feel like it. And I guess I only wanted four, so now I can go back to select. I can select that one, cut it out, get rid of it. So now I have a new um, tie-up and threadling that looks interesting. You can see what it looks like in the fabric view, and you can see the different colors. Now we're going to look at the tie-up and the tools that are available for the tie-up. We'll scroll down here a little bit to 
get all the tie-up tools. They're located over here. So I'm going to make a selection and I'm going to select an area of the tie-up. I mouse down and drag again. Now these tools are enabled. I can clear the se selection. So that's the clear and I mouse down to clear it. And um, I can do a twill. Well, I think I want to do the whole thing. So let's undo our clear and we'll put it back. And then if we click right outside the tie up, it will unselect. And, and that actually selects the entire tie up. So now I can just clear the whole thing. And I can now um, pick some cells in the first column in the mark mode. One, two, three, four. We'll collect those. I go over to this last one, which is extend the twill. And now it creates that twill. We're still in the full edit mode, so I can do things like flip it. And I can do things like invert it. And you'll notice that the tie-up changes each time. I can do some of those things if I want to clear it again. Let's clear it. Let's say this time I want to select, well, first of all, let's, let's say I wanted to do mark mode, do a small twill, make a selection just in that area, and then pick twill it. And you'll see you, it just did it in that selection. You can copy that, paste it here, and we'll invert that part. And you can paste here. This time it's a little bit different. And we'll paste it up here, and we'll invert it. I think we're making a mess, but we did a very strange one. If you don't like what you got, let's do this. We'll clear it all again. We'll make another twill. Put it back. Mark mode. Select and twill. Uh, I like to be able to do a lot of editing on the full tie-up. That's why you don't have to make a selection because a lot of times you're just using your mark mode or your draw mode and it's quicker to not have to switch back and forth between these different modes to get what you exactly want. The last tool that we're going to look at for this demo is going to be the repeat icon found on the toolbar here. To use it, I need to make a selection. I'll select, I'll select four of them. I'll go over, that's now enabled. Pick that icon. It comes up with a little box to tell you how many times you want to repeat it. I'm just going to repeat it twice. And then we can look at the fabric view. And we'll make it a little larger. And you can see that this section of the pattern is done twice in the, in the uh, fabric view here. We're going to select again. This time I will pick uh, up here. And I'm going to pick repeat again. And we'll do it two times here. And you can see that uh, I get two sections of this yellow and the repeated here. So you can see how it repeated. Just to convince you how it works, let's pick uh, a new color. Pick a right left mouse button. Pick the warp yarn. Pick mark mode. That's another way of doing color. We just go over here and we tap on the top of the cell and that gives you a new color there and you can see that it has now appeared twice in our fabric view showing that any 
single change that I make here will repeat as many times as that section is repeated in the fabric view. And we can do the same for um, the weft color. So we'll pick uh, a color for it. I'm just going to pick the yellow. Oh, I already got yellow picked here. Well, it's a darker. Let's go a little darker. We'll pick the blue right mouse button. Click, and again, we're in mark mode, so we can just click on the square, and you can immediately see that that color is also repeated twice. The other thing you can do when you want to say, well, I guess I really didn't want that repeat. So we can go over to, say, this one, select the entire repeat from one end to the other, go over, pick the repeat button again, and this time you see a label that says remove selected repeat. And so that's how you get rid of them if you don't want it. You can remove it and now it's gone and you only see one bar in that view. So the next demo will be on advancing twills and network drafting and some of the other advancing, more advancing tools. Thank you from Weave It Pro for the Mac. See it at www.weaveit.com and buy it in your app store on your Mac.